Hey, it's Lauren from Radio World. We've got a Garmin Striker Ice Bundle Kit here. We're gonna show you how to take all of this stuff and make it look like this so you're ready to hit the ice. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing we have our paperwork here, got some warranty information, user manuals, that type of stuff. So you can set that aside. Your ice fishing installation kit is all here. Really detailed instructions in there. So if we get stuck halfway through, we'll refer to this. And then everything else we need is right here. So let's get started in this. Okay, so for some of the installation, we're gonna require a Phillips screwdriver. That's the one that looks like a star. First thing we're gonna do is take our mounting bracket like this, the, or the handle I should say, and attach it to our mounting bracket. You wanna make sure these two things are on the uh, right-hand side when you're facing it, left-hand side for me. That will just slide in like so. And then we're gonna have to put a screw right up in here on either side of them. Uh, screw will go in from the back side, and then there will be a nylock nut that will go in on the front side. You don't need a wrench or anything because the, there is a fitment right in there for that nut. It'll slide right in and hold it in place as you tighten your screw. Okay, so I'll just take the nut, slide it down in here, just kind of hold it in place with my finger, come around the other side, insert that screw, just get a couple turns, get a couple threads started. Then you can take your Phillips screwdriver, and screw it into place. Okay, so next we're gonna take the unit mounting uh, bracket. This is the swivel portion of it. We're gonna take the big nylock nut and just insert it into the spot on the bottom here. Just press that in. Then you're gonna wanna take this guy and mount it to our base here, just keeping this cable management piece to the back. So I'll set that down. Take our three machine screws here drop them into place, get them started. So it helps if you put them on the screwdriver first and feed them down this way. Okay, and then just go around to each one and give it a final tighten. You don't have to over tighten them, just so they're snug. Then we can go ahead and take the unit mounting bracket and put that on the rounded part here where the, or the, the open part on the rounded part, I should say, should be facing forward. And again, you have a cable management system back here that should be facing back. There's just a bunch of teeth in here, which will align with the teeth on our swivel mount. We can put that in, take the large Phillips screw, and then we can go ahead and screw that down into the nut that we put on the bottom of the swivel mount. That will still allow you to swivel it if you choose to. So next we'll take our unit and we'll take the mounting knobs and we'll just start them on either side, just a couple turns, just like that. And then we can go ahead and fit it into the bracket here and then go ahead and tighten those down. They don't have to be super tight just so you can still adjust the angle just to adjust for any glare. So we'll turn the unit around just so you can see what we're doing in the back here. We're now gonna take our battery. You just wanna remove the two clips here you can place the battery into the storage portion here. Take your Velcro straps, there's two of them. Hey, look at that, there's three of them. Okay, and then these guys we're just gonna use to hold the battery in place. So you just go ahead and feed those through. So how to do it the easy way, you're gonna take the Velcro with the, the rougher side and put that down in between the battery and the unit first. That'll help you get that started. It's easier to do that than going the other way. Okay, so now our battery is secure. We can go ahead and put the power cable on it and connect it up to the unit. So next we'll take our power cable, put the red to positive, black to negative. Then we can go and just route the cable in behind the battery here and then rotate the unit so it's easy to plug it into the power port. These are keyed in a certain way so they can only go in one way. Okay, so next to assemble the transducer, I've just gone ahead and um, spread out the wire um, just so it's easier to deal with the float cable management system. So on the float, we've got this little insert here. I'm gonna take that out. We're gonna pass the transducer cable through the float. And then what we'll do is pass the connector. You can remove this cap if you'd like. 
pass the connector through our little cable management system here. That will then pull up. And then once you get it adjusted to the depth you want, what you'll do is just slide the transducer cable right in here to the tight portion of it, feed it into the transducer float, and then now that's secure to set your depth for your transducer. So once we have the transducer assembled like that, we can then go ahead and leave yourself some slack just to uh, get it close enough to get down the hole. You can wrap the transducer cable around this cable management system here. And then again, leaving yourself enough slack to plug into the unit. I also like to go ahead and reinstall the little cap there in case you ever do unplug your transducer. And of course, don't forget to plug in your transducer cable. They tend to work a lot better that way. This is keyed as well, just like your power cable was, so that can only go in one way. Now we're all set to put it into the bag and then go fishing. Okay, so final step is to put it into our bag. So you just gotta make sure you do undo the big zipper and then just get your bag ready to get the unit in there. So when that's set into place, what you're gonna to wanna to do up at the top here is just undo this Velcro, feed it under the handle, and then back up over, and that will allow everything to remain in place there when you go ahead and carry it. Now, on the back of the bag, if you have it closed, there's actually a little pouch here um, where you can hold the handle, so that's a nice feature. And then back in here, you can access your battery where we can go ahead and plug in the charging adapter. And one thing I would recommend, this wasn't included in the box, but you can get a adapter for these little spade connectors where you can attach two. So I would recommend picking up a set of those so you can always have this connected. And then when it's time to charge, you can just come into your little trailer connector here and charge up. When you're not using this stuff, you have this waterproof pouch right in the bag where all of that can go and everything can be kept together. These bags are really well made. They got some mesh uh, storage pouches on the side for some gear. Another zipper over here where you can access the transducer storage. On the sides here, you can also roll up the bag, use this little built-in clip, clip it on, and then everything is good to carry around to your next hole. You can fit your transducer and everything right in there, no problem at all. So that's basically how you put these things together. Only thing left over was this. Guess I should have read those instructions. Anyway, I'm going fishing. Look like this, so you're ready to hit the ice. Hold on, I gotta do that again. I hit the bag. Don't wanna hurt the bag. <laughs>